Hey there, and welcome back to another episode where we're studying for the Amateur Radio Technician License. Now, we are in Technician Element 1 still, subsection, sub-element E, and we have a few questions again that are just memorization. When may an amateur station transmit without a control operator? And that answer is never. Somebody is always at the wheel. Question two, who may, be in, who may be the control operator of a station communicating through an amateur satellite or space station? And that is any amateur allowed to transmit on the satellite uplink frequency. There are satellites that have HF. And so CW would be one of those places where a technician, you could do CW if it's in the 80, 15, or the um, 40 or 10 meter band and in 10 meters you can use 28.300 to 28500 if that is an uplink frequency so those are things you just have to memorize who must designate the station control operator and that is the station licensee the station licensee could be you. If somebody else wants to use your radio, then you designate who the control operation, operator is. What determines the transmitting frequency privileges of an amateur station? That is the class of the operator license held by the control operator. So the person who's at the wheel, the one who's using the rig. So if I go to a technician's house, I'm an extra. I can play wherever I want to. That does not change it for that person who resides there that has a technician license. What is an amateur station's control point? The location at which the control operator function is performed. So your control point is where you are. If you're at home, that's your control point. If you're operating remote, that is your control point. When, under normal circumstances, may a technician class licensee be the control operator of a station operating in an amateur extra class band segment? I sort of just got done saying that, but your answer is at no time. Technicians stay where technicians can play. When the control operator is not the station licensee, who is responsible for the proper operation of the station? Now this one can, this one has tripped me up several times. The answer is the control operator and the station licensee. So when the control operator is not the station licensee, the station licensee is still responsible for the operation of that station. If a technician is sitting there using it, then the station licensee needs to make sure that proper operation is happening and the rules are abided by. Which of the following is an example of automatic control? Repeaters are automatic. They do it without any intervention. So repeater operation is out of these selections is repeater operation. You cannot set your computer to send CW automatically and walk away from it. So you've got to be there using your station in case something goes wrong. Which of the following are required for remote control operation? This is again one of those rare ones where all choices are correct. The control operator must be at the control point. The control operator is required at all times and the control operator must indirectly manipulate the controls. Now indirectly, if I'm operating a radio that remote using a computer, I'm not actually touching the radio, but indirectly through software, I am. We're on question 10, and we have one more after that. Which of the following is an example of remote control as defined in part 97? If you need to know the rules, then you need to Google or dogpile or whatever search engine part 97 and then you will be able to read the rules but this correct answer is operating the station over the internet 
So that is remote control, and I just mentioned that. I do that quite a bit. And the last question in sub-element E is, who does the FCC presume to be the control operator of an amateur station unless documentation to the contrary is in the station records? The station licensee. So that's here at my location, my QTH. My address is tied to my call sign. I'm the station licensee of this humble abode. So station licensee. All right, that concludes sub-element E. And we have one more after this. So this is Robbie, W1RCP. Appreciate you guys tuning in and gals. Um, I use guys like the Spanish. Uh, if you have a group, it's ellos. But regardless, I'm not misgendering anybody. I'm just saying thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Rob W1RCP, and we'll see you for sub uh, element F here very shortly.